We know how to get to the binomial theorem through intuition. Let's try to prove it using mathematical induction. So we know this is the generalized form of the binomial theorem, wherein n is any natural number. And when we raise x plus y to the power n, we get an expression that looks like this, where c's are the combinations. Now, in order to prove this using mathematical induction, we will need to define a statement. And let's say, let's say that P of N is the statement that this expression, this expansion holds true, holds true for some natural number N, for N that belongs to the natural number. Now to prove that, to prove that P of N holds true for all natural, for all natural numbers, we need to do two things for all n, we need to do two things. First, we need to prove that p of 1 holds true. That means that x plus y to the power 1 should be equal to 1c0 x to the power 1 plus 1c1 y to the power 1. We'll get back to this in a moment. And the second thing we need to prove is that given p of i where i is any natural number holds true that should in some way imply in a mathematically possible way imply that p of i plus one also holds true and let's let's prove both of these statements so the first one the first one just proving p sub one x plus y to the power one is just well equal to x plus y and the right hand side in this case this thing right here 1 c 0 x to the power 1 plus 1 c 1 y to the power 1 is equal to so 1 c 0 this thing is nothing but 1 factorial over 0 factorial over 1 minus 0 factorial and 1 c 1 is nothing but 1 factorial divided by 0 factorial times one factorial both of these is equal to one and just putting that right here you will get one times x plus one times y and since both of these are equal we have established we have established p of one now p of i will say that hey x plus y to the power i is equal to i c zero times x to the power i plus i c1 times x to the power of i minus 1 times y plus i c2 times x to the power of i minus 2 times y squared and in this fashion this will proceed till i c i minus 1 times x times y to the power of i minus 1 and then the final term the i plus 1 term in this expansion will be i c i i c i y to the power of i now we need to prove in some way that this will imply p of i plus one and p of i plus one involves x plus y to the power of i plus one and notice to get from here to here we just need to multiply we just need to multiply by x plus y so if you multiply both sides by x plus y, it's still a mathematically sound technique. So let's do that. So on the left hand side, multiplying both of these will just increment this power. So you will have x plus y to the power of y plus one is equal to x plus y times this entire thing. So I C zero, times x to the power of i plus i c1 times x to the power of i minus 1 times y plus plus i c2 x to the power of i minus 2 y squared so on until i c i y to the power of i now we just need to multiply the both of these expressions this binomial and this i plus 1 term expression so let me just color x plus x and y in a different way. So let me write 
x with red and y with yellow. Now, first we multiply this entire white expression by x. So we will have we will have x times this thing. So that will give us i c zero times x to the power of i plus one. Notice the coefficients are not changing when we are multiplying by a variable. Plus i c one times. Now again, the power of x will increment just by one. So this will give you x to the power of i times y plus i c two x to the power of i minus one y squared so on and so forth till i c i x times y to the power of i sorry the y, i is here now the next part of this notice this is not still equal to the expression that we all would like to see instead of the i's here you will just like to see i plus one all around here so you that's still not possible with just this much now we will multiply by i so then we will have i c zero x to the power of i times y plus i c one now this term x to the power of i minus one times y squared so on so on until until you will get i c i minus one i c i minus one x times y to the power of i and the last term you will get is i c one i c i c i y to the power of i plus one and now the only thing that's left to do is to match the like terms so x to the power of i will get matched and then these terms will get matched these terms will get matched as well and so on will the terms in between so this will give us this will give us i c zero x to the power of i plus one plus with x to the power of i times y the coefficient will be i c one plus i c zero and then similarly next you will have x to the power of i minus one y squared you will have i c one plus i c two and this in this manner in this pattern this will continue till the last term the second last term however will be uh, x times y to the power of i and the coefficient in that case will be i c i plus i c i minus one plus the last coefficient is just going to be i c i y to the power of i plus one now to get this to get all of these binomial coefficients note that the powers now look in a nice form we wanted it to be in i plus one and then decreasing power of x and then increasing power of y till i plus one just the coefficients they are still in terms of i here we employ a technique that we use quite often when using binomial coefficients and that's this identity which says that n c r plus n c r minus one is equal to n plus one c r and this is a, this is a very nice technique that we can use here so the first the first term that does not have any sum there so we can just write it as i c zero x to the power of i plus one plus this thing this thing right here is a sum so these i's will get added these i's will get incremented by one not added my bad so i plus one c and then the bigger one of these is one so i c one i plus one c one times x to the power of i times y plus in this case again the same thing happens so you will have i plus one c and the bigger one is two so c two times times x to the power of i minus one times y squared the second last term will have again i will get incremented by one so i plus one c and then this is the bigger one of these just like we had here 
So i plus 1 ci x times y to the i plus the last term is i ci times y to the power of i plus 1. Now, only two binomial coefficients are not in our favor. We can make them do so. Why? Since i c 0 is just equal to 1 and i c i is also equal to 1. And this holds irrespective of whatever i is. So we can say that i c0 is just equal to i plus 1 c0, and both of these are equal to 1. And similarly, i c i is equal to i plus 1 c i plus 1, and both of these again are equal to 1. So let's just make in those substitutions, make in those substitutions. That will give us i plus 1 c0, and here you will have i plus 1 c i plus 1. And that's it. We have proved that p of i implies p of i plus 1. That's the inductive hypothesis. The basis hypothesis was p of 1. We proved that as well. And in summary, we just proved that the binomial theorem works for all natural numbers. And see you in the next video.